Hey everyone, Craig Williams here, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, some techniques to create some uh, nice pads. Uh, this is something that I sort of uh, wasn't the best at, and I'm still, I mean, still learning stuff, new stuff every day. Uh, these are just some of the techniques that I use in creating pads, and I'm going to show you how to make uh, five slightly different pads. Hopefully you guys can use some of these techniques and uh, use them in your own productions and create your own sort of sounds. So uh, first up, uh, we're going to going to use Silent for all these. I just find that Silent is a really good uh, synth to teach on, and it's also um, a lot of people have got it, and it's also um, has four oscillators, so you get a nice big rich sound. Um, so first thing we're going to do is initialize it. Uh, come up and majority of the time you want your polyphony to, to be uh, nice and high. So when you start playing multiple chords and you're, you're playing things with a lot of notes in it um, and you have a lot of voices going on each, um, in, in, on each oscillator, you're going to still keep that nice big sound. You're not going to be... Um, sort of bottlenecked and it, it sort of um, reaches its maximum. So first thing we're going to do is um, we'll keep Sawtooth for this one and we're going to go all the way to 8. Take Retrig off and obviously we're going to want to detune that nice amount. We'll come across to part 2 and we're going to have this as a triangle and again Eight oscillators, retrig off, and we're gonna detune that nicely as well. So I've just got a chord in here, it's just a real simple chord that will show you what's going on. Um, just so when I I don't have to keep pushing the the keys on my keyboard uh, like my um, normal lettered keyboard, because it's I'm just on my laptop. So that sounds like this so far. So already that sounds pretty decent. Um, obviously some things you're going to want to do is to increase the attack so it gets that nice swell sound. And then as you can hear there, it stops abruptly. So we can just pull the release up. So you get that nice swelling sound. Um, what we can do now is copy that, paste it onto the other side. Copy this one, paste it on the other side. We can also copy this and paste it over here. So already we've got uh, a lot more going on. Um, some other things that we can do is you could come along and put these up by one. Adds a lot more uh, high end to your sound, especially we're sort of playing around the C2 area. Uh, the chord is in play, being played in the C2. Um, so it's sort of just adding the, the nice highs there. So as you can see there, really basic. It's just a run of the mill sort of to get some basic sounds going. Next up. We're gonna do five, so I'm just kind of punching through it pretty fast. Uh, if there's anything that you, any questions or anything, feel free just to write in the comments, and I'll and I'll try and answer it. Hopefully, I'm I'm covering everything in enough detail. Uh, so this one is gonna be two part, but we're gonna start to um, just change. We're gonna add a couple little things to it. Uh, we're gonna to start to add some of the effects within the synth. So for this one, we're going to go Sawtooth, just going to go up five, and we're going to detune that nicely, and take the retrig off, and pull the stereo in, just so it's not so spread out. And then for the other side, we're going to copy it, paste it, and we're going to lift this up by seven. So what I'm effectively going to do with this synth sound is I'm going to create a chord 
with uh, with the oscillators. Another thing that I'm going to do with this is um, make it mono and I'm going to put some portamento on it. So I want this uh, pad sound to be kind of a lead sound as well. Um, it's not going to be as harsh as a lead, it's still going to have the characteristics of a pad but it's going to be um, something that you can, uh, it's just going to be one note but because we're creating a chord within the uh, oscillators it's going to have a nice rich sound to it. Um, and that's pretty much, we just want to bring up the release on that one a little bit. Obviously we're going to go back and uh, tweak a lot of these. Um, so nothing sort of final until you're happy 100% with it. Now we come back across to part B. We're going to keep these both as sawtooth again. This one's going to be five us, uh, five voices rather, and this one's going to be five, and that one's going to be a sawtooth as well. Taking retrig off them both, detune them both. Uh, we're going to pull in the stereo again. And then this is where we start to create the chord. So we're going to go octave one, octave one, and then go up two and up four. So if I play that now, pull the volume down and not blasting you. So you can hear there, it's sort of like that, sort of spacey, airy. And that, like I said, that can be kind of used as a lead um, and, and stuff like that. Another thing you can do is come along, put the phaser on, put the LFO rate down, even down a little bit further, and then Come to your dry wet, just pull that down a little bit. So you can hear there, keep, it's got a little bit of movement and stuff like that in it. It's just something you can add into your sound. Um, helps create a bit more movement in your, in your actual pad or, or lead or whatnot. Next one. And this one we're going to start to incorporate um, some of the modulation envelopes and stuff like that. We want to initialize the preset and put this up to just up to eight. Yeah, up four on each of them. And just a, a little bit of detune, take the retrig off and pull the stereo around on nice and tight sort of sound. And then for this one, we're going to change the phase and I'll, I'll show you once we've got the sound going. So, you can hear there and we can change this to a sawtooth. Detune that just a little bit. And then, So you can hear the difference there of different positions of the face. So you can play around with that and, and find like a nice uh, spot for you um, for the face. So you can just add a little bit more to your sound and obviously take off the retrig. And want to pull up the attack and pull up the release. After this one, we can come along and put low pass filter on it. Got plenty of resonance on there and just a little bit of drive, just to add a little bit more to it, give some more high harmonics, and pull down the cutoff for now. 
and maybe add a little bit more there. Now what we're going to do is by adding two um, mod envelopes to the cutoff, uh, it's going to create a, a sort of a more rich sound. So we go cutoff A and just move that around just a little bit. Plenty of attack and the sustain all the way up and some release. So you can hear that there. And then if we come along to cut off A again, add a, pretty much the same amount, put the decay up and the release. You can hear there, it's how it's changed the sound. So if I turn this one off, just adds a little bit more. And again, you can play with these um, values and, and get something that you like. And then lastly, what you could also do is for the cutoff, pull this around to about the one o'clock position, put it on free and just around there and pull up the gain. So you can hear it there. Just adding a little bit more to the sound. Try not to let any one envelope or LFO do too much. Just all adding up to create a nice uh, rich sound. And obviously you can start to add phases and delays and reverbs and stuff like that in there. Uh, next up, what I'm going to do is do uh, a nice uh, pad sound. It's kind of like an... an has a nice sort of string, synth string sound to it. So we're going to initialize a preset. We're going to come along and put polyphony right up there. And we're going to go voices eight. And again, turn the retrig off. It's pretty important you turn that off so you're not getting that bite at the start of your sound. Um, we're going to go oscillate, uh, octave up by one. And obviously we're going to want to detune that and for this one, I'm just going to pull the stereo right around. Uh, for oscillator two, again, we're going to have another sawtooth. Voices up to eight and re trig off. And again, I want to detune that and pull the stereo down. And for that one, we're going to, go and want to go up by one as well and pull the attack up and pull the release right up like that. So pull this down a little bit so you're not blasted. So that's part A done. Next we'll go on to part B. And for this one it's going to be again eight sawtooth and this one is going to be down one octave. Detune up again. And again, pull the stereo in so it's not so spread out. And the retrig off. And with the volume, uh, next one over here, we're going to go up by eight. Sawtooth. And we're just going to keep the octave where it is. Uh, Detune up. And the stereo again. Pull back and re-trigger. And for this one, it's going to be release up. So this part here is effectively adding sort of the low end sound to it. We want to come back to here and the low pass, and we want to do. A and B, so both both parts are going into the filter. Uh, resonance up a little bit. 
and we can start to play around with these once we get the sound going. Cut off A and B. Plenty of release. Part B is just pull these down in volume a little bit. There we go, there's like a more of a string with nice filter control on there so you can uh, you can uh, use that to uh, in build ups and stuff like that and you can introduce the sound a little bit more. And for the last one we're going to do a, a again we're going to do a, a synth with a nice uh, pad sound with a nice low synth bottom and then a nice high top to it. So come along and again initialize a preset and we're going to come along and flip me up to 16 octave is going to be down voices at 8 and retrig off for this one we'll just keep all the volumes down to start with um, detune up a nice amount and stereo around to about the one o'clock position. Again, we're going to want attack up nice and high, decay up, and obviously the release so we get that nice smooth sound. And for this one, we're going to go up by one, volume again around to about the five. This one's going to be a saw triangle, voice is up to eight. Read trigger off, detune around. As you can see, I'm pretty much doing the same thing with the retrig and the detune, which is uh, a big part of it. And obviously, the, the amp envelope by putting the attack up and stuff like that. But this one, the stereo is going to be around. And that's about it for that part. Next one, we'll go along to. <clears throat> And that sounds like that already. We can put the voices up to eight on that one, up to eight on that one. This one we went plus or minus, so this one I'm just going to keep them as they are. Volumes around to the five, detune them both. Pull the volume down on these. Tack up. We can just copy that one across. Pull the stereo around so it tightens the sound up. Cool, we can do now. Let's come along A and B. 
a little bit of resonance, a little bit of drive. You can hear there, it's, it's a nice big sort of sound going on, so we add a little bit of resonance there, come along. Cut off A and B. Again, pretty much the same again with the uh, mod envelope. Plenty of release. This one I want to add a phaser. Down, pull the dry wet down. Just want a little bit of that of being affected. Want some delay on there as well. Pull that down. Fairly tight, just want it to sort of double up the sound. And then uh, that's about it for that one. So there we go, we've got five pad sounds. Hopefully uh, you guys got something out of that. You can see that the same techniques are pretty much the same for them all. Um, obviously just changing a couple of little bits and pieces there to, to help shape a new sound and create something new. Now, obviously changing things like the octave, if you put uh, a phaser on how much uh, and the mod envelopes and stuff like that and obviously um, creating a chord with the oscillators and then uh, with that you can also utilize making it a mono so it makes it sort of a lead pad sound so again hopefully you guys got something out of that um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to head over if you got some time to my facebook page and soundcloud and i'm also on twitter all the links are in the description all of the support is really appreciated until next time see you later